What's happening, YouTube? And what's happening, Michael B? Back in the day, Gamer here, coming at you with this week's video response to Michael B the Game Genie's Top 3 Tuesdays question of What are the top three bad games I like to play? Now, this was an easy, hands down, no brainer, two seconds to pick all three of these games because I love these three games. Everybody else probably hates them. The number three pick is going to be the most hated of the lot, and that is the Nintendo Entertainment System's Black Bass. Check out that cover art, people. Nice. Just makes you want to go fishing. Now, this game, in all honesty, isn't very good. That's why it's in my top three bad games I like to play list. I love fishing. I've always loved fishing. And back in the day, when this came out, I was into two things. Nintendo and fishing. And this was the only fishing game there was. You had no other option. And it didn't matter. I didn't want one. Because I loved this game, and I played the hell out of it for hours and hours and hours. I did a Let's Play with a friend of mine from a hunting channel that he's got, hunting fishing channel, we just did, and some of the comments were funny because people were like, oh my god, I can't believe he even caught a fish. Now, Black Bass being a bad game, I'm sure people have a hard time with it even if they bother playing it, but since I have 30 years experience, it's no big deal for me. That being said, I've still never beat it, but it is a bad game that I like to play. Moving on to the number two bad game I like to play is the second Nintendo game I ever purchased. And that game is Spelunker. This is the original cartridge that I purchased 30 some years ago. And it's got a little bit of wear there, but uh, it still plays fine. So if you've never played Spelunker, Spelunking is it? cave exploration. So you're a cave explorer, modern day Indiana Jones, if you will, and you have to run through the cave collecting items. I believe there's like four levels, then the game repeats itself, but the background changes color and items are in different places or they are invisible, which makes it even harder. I know I have made it through two playthroughs of this, but I'm not sure if I've ever made it a third round. But anyhow, what makes this a bad game isn't the graphics. It's good. The soundtrack is good. It's the gameplay. You can only fall about an inch. Any farther than an inch, and you die. So, climbing ropes, jumping from platforms, there's elevators, there's mine carts, all kinds of things. It's like the hit detection is pretty shady and it's really the jumps. The sprite control, that's what makes this a bad game. So before we move on to my number one pick, I have an honorable mention. This one was tough. It was between this and Spelunker, but I like Spelunker so much that one went on the list. But the game I omitted is Archon. It's a battle chess type game where you monsters and golems and dragons and wizards instead of just your pawns, knights, kings, and queens. Um, it's a fun game. I remember in sixth grade, I went to a friend Chris's birthday party and he had this game. Only person I've ever seen have it. I remember we sat there for half the party and played it. After that, it was a cheapy 1999 game because that's the cheapest Nintendo game you could buy back in the day. And I picked it up as soon as I saw it, and I played the hell out of it. But that's my honorable mention. So, skipping through that, moving on to my number one pick of bad games I like to play is one of my all-time favorite NES games. I do not consider it bad, but apparently everyone else does. And that game is Pool of Radiance. One of the advanced Dungeons & Dragons cartridges on the NES Pool of Radiance is a pretty technical RPG. In this version of it, you've got uh, 
your first person view, which I have never been a fan of in games. You can switch it around so you view it overhead over a map, which is very less desirable to look at, but much easier to play. And then there's, it's you know, it's turn-based. So if you're not into RPGs, you know, you're take turns, choosing each character, what that character does, who they fight, what item, weapon, spell they use, all that. I'm not sure what it is I like about this game so much. I know that the first gaming thing that we had before Nintendo came out, we had an old IBM computer. And I had Pool Radiance in those old gold box versions on the five and a quarter floppy disk, which I still have. Don't have the computer, still have the game. One day, I wish I could remember where I got Pool Radiance from. I can't, but I remember I saw it and I was just like, oh my God, I loved it on IBM so much. I got it. I didn't quite like it as much on the NES. I'm not sure. Maybe the graphics weren't as good. I loved it on the IBM, but I really, really like it on the Nintendo. And that's why it is my top pick for bad games I like to play. So there is my top three choices and an honorable mention for this week's Top 3 Tuesday. Once again, I want to thank Michael B. the Game Genie for putting this on because I'm having tons of fun. And so are all of you, I hope. I hope you like this video. I hope you leave some suggestions of your top three game bad games you like to play in the comment section. So please comment, subscribe, like, all that jazz. And until next time, YouTube, keep it retro!